My story of my parents divorcing happened when I was 21 years old. I was on the other side of the world. I was actually living in Australia, just beginning a big hitchhiking journey. And I found this out by calling home. My mother was sobbing and crying and told me that my father had moved out, etc., etc., only to find out at some point that he had a girlfriend, cheating, who knows what was actually going on. But what happened to me is I was devastated emotionally. I had crying fits, grieving, sadness, overwhelming feelings of unhappiness, misery, existential confusion, all these feelings coming up that I couldn't control again and again and again. Sadness, frustration, anger, blame, rage. First I'd blame my mom, she had this problem and that problem, and then I'd blame my dad. Often I couldn't blame both at the same time. Sometimes I would blame both at the same time. Sometimes I would blame neither. A lot of people told me this is just how relationships go between adults. It's about accepting it, forgiving them, loving them, being supportive of them. It was so confusing to me. And then I remember one thing. I heard a few different people say it. And I remember it was my grandmother, actually, my mom's mom, who said it to me first. And it really stands out to me. She said, Daniel, it's so much harder for people, children, to go through a divorce of their parents when they're adults like you are. You're 21 years old and then I was 22, 23. She goes, it's so much harder. When children are younger, they can accept it so much better. And I remember thinking, even at that time, she is totally wrong. I knew it deep down inside myself. And the reason that I knew that my grandmother was so wrong when she said it's easier for children to go through a divorce when they're younger is because in my case, there was another part of me that was incredibly grateful that my parents split up. And the reason that I was grateful that they split up is finally I started to realize that the truth of the deep pathology of my family system that I had for so long been denying was finally coming out. It was out in the open. And what I began to realize as time went on after my parents split up is that I had actually been deluded, literally in a delusion about the healthiness of my family system. To put it in another way, I was profoundly in denial about how sick my family system was. And when they split up, the truth started to come out. And what I realized is that although it was painful, although it was horrible, although it was ugly, I was incredibly grateful because I could start to make sense of what was really going on in my family system and what had always been going on in my family system, these sick, disturbing, troubling dynamics. And the reason that I was so grateful for this truth to finally start coming out now in my 20s was that I realized I was sick also. I was just as deluded about how sick I was. I was in denial about my own unhealthiness. And I didn't really have access to it. While I was part of this family system that was together and supposedly healthy and supposedly a bonded loving unit, and when it all blew up and my parents started hating each other and all this ugly truth started coming out about my dad and my mom and what their relationship really was, it gave me the opportunity to start to look at myself my own inner conflicts, my own disturbed behavior, my own relational confusion, my own troubled relationship with myself, my self-hatred, my insecurities. Suddenly when all this ugliness came out, I had a model for being able to look at all this same stuff that was going on inside of me. And I was incredibly grateful, even though it was painful, even though it was ugly, even though it was awful in a way. And the reason I was grateful is because it was my salvation. However, <laughs> that's not what the outside world saw. That's not what the outside world said. And my grandmother was a great expression of, oh, Daniel's so sad, Daniel's so depressed, Daniel only talks about negative things, Daniel's so angry, Daniel's so frustrated. So when she said to me, oh, it's bad, and it would have been so much better if they divorced 10 years ago or 15 years ago, I was like, no way. I'm actually glad, as screwed up as their relationship was, I'm glad that they waited just for my own sake because what would have happened to me, I'm convinced, is if 
If they had broken up, if the relationship had exploded when I was 11 and not when I was 21, I would not have been able to deal with it. I wouldn't have been able to take a step back to the same degree. I think what would have happened to me is I would have had to bury my feelings. I would not have had the adult intellectual capacity, emotional capacity, independence to be able, in a way, to become an independent viewer, an independent critic, an independent self-critic. I would have been not self-reflective enough just because of my age, because of my dependence, because of my need for them to be able to take a step back and look critically at them and then by extension to look critically at myself. But does that mean that my parents divorcing was the ideal situation, the ideal and optimal thing that could have happened? And I would say profoundly the answer is no. Much more ideal, much more optimal is that both of my parents, my mother and my father, had begun to look inside their own selves, look at their own internal unhealthiness, look at their own history of unresolved trauma and see how they were playing it out with each other. Basically, if they had begun to make sense of what unhealthiness each of them individually was bringing to this relationship and they had been able to begin to grow because I also see they made a commitment to each other to get married, to have a relationship, to have sex with each other, to create a child who was me. And I believe because they created this family unit, they had a responsibility to become healthy within their own selves and toward each other, to really become loving partners toward each other. And they didn't do that. They failed. So for my sake, the next best thing is at least they could be honest and break it up and move on. Now the thing is, my parents, they just went forward and they replicated all the messes that they made with each other in, in their future and they never really grew. And I think a lot of what they did was they just shut down more. When they moved forward in their lives and entered new relationships, they just emotionally shut down more. They didn't become healthier. But I did. Now I'll take one other step back. I've heard quite a few people say, you know, I'm really glad that my parents split up when I was six, seven, eight years old. But only what I've heard is they say, because they were fighting so much, because they were so incredibly dysfunctional, because living in the same house was them, with them together was so absolutely traumatizing and awful. They were so traumatizing to each other and so traumatizing to me. I've heard other people say this, that it was better that they split up. My life became calmer afterward. But, I haven't heard people say when they're much younger the things that I got out of it. And for me, I really do feel again and again that my parents splitting up at that key time in my life when I was really just becoming conscious as an adult was perfect timing for me. Perfect timing for me to use all the ugliness and nastiness and garbage that was coming out of their divorce for me to self-reflect, for me to put together my history. And that's another thing. When I was 21 and they split up, 22, 23, I was in a time in my life of profound introspection, profoundly looking at my own history, my history of trauma, my history of relational dynamics. I was looking at my early childhood. I was looking at my relationship with my parents early on, my relationship with my grandparents. I was looking at why did my parents treat me in all these different traumatizing ways that they did? Where did it come from inside of them? What was their own history of trauma? And what happened because my parents split up? They were in existential pain and crisis also. And what happened is because they were in that time of crisis, they were more open. They were more vulnerable. They talked much, much more openly with me. And because of that, I was in an adult position to be able to gather a massive amount of information about my history from them, about the history of my childhood, the history of their childhoods, the history of their lives. So in a way, yes, this divorce that they went through was awful for me, but at the same time, it profoundly catapulted me forward in my life. And for that, I'm grateful. <laughs>